thought I'd make something nice and light, not at all, that um, we know we all want to eat. It's kind of a play. It's really a play on a mac and cheese with some fancy stuff. Just tell everybody everything's mac and cheese and they'll make it. Yep. Did you hear about those buckets of mac yeah, and cheese? Yeah, it's like shelf stable oh. for 25 years. It's like yeah. five right. gallons of mac and cheese. They sell it at a big box store, yeah. You sure they know, sold out of them. You sure know a lot about it. What? <laughs> Just, just say, if, if I ever invite you into my basement, you know why. It's a mac and cheese party That's sleepover. The invite. Oh now there's God. the invite. Right, Share what's that. this called? What are we calling it? So this is a little bit of orecchiette, little ears, pasta, which it cooks quickly, which we like, and I actually have it already cooking. I like a quick weeknight pasta where you can make the sauce, and by the time you cook the pasta, the meal is done. It's also... Pot for pasta, pan, we're done. You're mincing just, chives. Yeah, okay. I cook some bacon, and this is just cream and sour cream. A little bit of sour cream. Again, that acidity just kind yeah. of built into it, and a little bit lighter, a little bit tangier. I mean, kind of like you're making a, a, that buttermilk tang that we love in so many recipes. You always have to have, I think, a little, um, little pepper. How much you always have to have that little secret. Oh, you can't have enough chives, oh, I, I say. Oh, I love you, yeah. Um, yeah, I, you know, you buy the chives at the supermarket, I cut up the whole thing and use it. I don't care. If the recipe says a tablespoon, I put a cup. Yeah, you can never... I don't <laughs> want them hanging I'll put around. Chives. <laughs> so I'm cooking down this cream, salt, pepper, and the um, sour cream, and I'm going to add the secret ingredient, a little Worcestershire sauce, yeah. which I just love. If you wanted to take... I mean, there's anchovy in Worcestershire, so if you don't want fish, put soy instead. Okay. So you see how the sour cream, cream, everything just gets body almost immediately. You know it's gonna coat that pasta. We have some bacon we cooked and you have that wonderful grease. Got? I'd love some lemon zest yeah. and then a little juice. Done and done. Right in here for a little brightness. If you don't have a lemon, you could add a dash of red wine vinegar instead. Ooh, there you go. Alex, you mentioned your daughter Ava, right? She's 11 now? Oh my God, yes. Now, if, if, if you follow Alex on I Instagram like we do, you, I follow yes. Ava. So Ava is obviously is following in your footsteps in the kitchen, right? The apple oh, did yeah. not fall uh, far from the tree here. Tell no. us, what, 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 what is she into this week, cooking? She's roasting eggplant. She's cooking chicken. And I just say, on stop own, it. That, right? Just yeah, awesome. stop it. Cut so it out. after the nine-hour day, the, <laughs> have the child cook. Yeah, that's, that's the answer to the, the question. question. Alex, I'll never forget being at, we were at Bobby Flay's in the swimming pool, and I said to Ava, do you care to grab me an ice cube? And she went to get it, and I put it in my glass of champagne that I had in the pool. And she said, you're putting ice in your champagne? Such a snob. So I cooked the pasta al dente, and then I put it in the sauce. And this is the really important part. Undercook it a little bit, and just let it hang out in the sauce Except for a few if minutes. if you're making pesto. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I like, for pesto, I like it in the bowl. Yeah. And then you just drop that hot pasta in the liquid, toss, and it's over. This, you want the, to make sure the cream and sour cream and everything are coating, and you need those few minutes of hang so time. So good. Oh. You know, the chives, just put whatever you want in here. Oh, okay, girl. Okay. Yeah, okay, Whoa. girl. All right. And then the bacon. We're related. Yeah. <laughs> put oh, that bacon in. Are. Yeah, it's so good. You can cook it ahead. If you have leftover bacon, people say to me, what? is leftover bacon. You need this bacon fat, too? Are we talking bacon? Yeah, let's drizzle some of that in here, definitely. And add, I add a little acid to that, a little yeah. lemon juice to the bacon. Mm -hmm. Then we're adding that nice combination. It's actually making me hungry. This could be breakfast. If we're going to have breakfast for dinner, we could have this dinner for breakfast. I'd put an Perfect. egg on that. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, that'd be really good. Would that be protein-y enough? Uh, I think we'd have egg? enough protein, yeah. You can have fun with this. You could add some chili flakes. Oh, if you yeah. wanted it to be spicy. And then we, I mean, the other thing is then this oh. is just a real <laughs> belly warmer. Girl. Yeah. This is a, um, about one serving. Hold on. So soupy, too. Yes. Yeah, that's for one. Yep. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. So good. By the way, you don't get any applause when you have an 11 year old. You know, no, you, get, you, you get crickets. If things are good, it's crickets. Should I just serve it up? That's out over here, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Yes, sorry. Oh, is that I my serving? I'll take it, you know? Yeah, I should have served Sunny first. It's true. Ladies first. So excited. A KD and Sunny. She oh, caught boy. a bucket of chives for you, so yeah. she might as well. <laughs> My favorite question to ask before I serve is, fork or spoon? Or both. You know what I mean? 
this is a spoon pasta. Yeah, I think yeah. the answer to fork or spoon is just yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just eat. My it's mother so hard. always I love the tang. Yeah, my mother always twirls the pasta on a spoon. You know, old school mm -hmm. like spaghetti and stuff. My mom needs the old spoon swirl. The other thing I want to say about these weeknight meals is I I didn't really do it here, but if you just mix the dish, shut off the heat, and let it sit for a few more minutes, mm -hmm. you can stand it. Yeah. Um, it something happened. I'm right. talking about that. that. It's one of the most underutilized things in the kitchen, turning off the flame and letting that ambient heat do some work. This is delicious. Katie hit the nail on it, on the head, man. That zippy lemon mm. juice at the end, not just the zest, both. It's the double layer of that. Chives on chives on chives. And then the bacon, they still have their integrity of a nice chew and crunch, because you put them in right at the last second. Pasta's perfect. This is like your Instagram page coming to life, and I'm loving it, you know? Thank I you. truly feel that. Delicious.